The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. My life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. This is true. Oh, it's better, it's better with two. My life. Oh, it's better with you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my brother, my brother, and me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm Dr. your oldest Korn. brother. Sorry, go ahead and introduce yourself, Dr. Corn. <laughs> I'm your oldest brother, just Dr. Corn. Do- Try Dr. Corn out for size. I'm your oldest brother, Dr. Corn. Do you prefer Professor Corn? Have you ever taught Corn? Is that that's a good question? Is this a teaching at the um, level? hospital? My name's Justin McElroy. What's up, Trav Nation? I'm your middle ages brother, Travis McElroy. What up, woof woof? Hi, Trav Nation. I'm Griffin McElroy. Sorry, <laughs> it's just me. All right, Travelers, we, really we have start. a big update here. Um, Justin was well, Justin was late to recording. Yes, due to a uh, corn related scheduling conflict. Yeah, it was a scheduling. It was booked. a. a yeah, I was double booked, and that's not my fault. I had on my calendar. Okay, okay. It's the kids. It's the kids' Thanksgiving time. Okay, and they're <laughs> wait. Thanks- wait, they get their own Thanksgiving time. That you sucks. make them do it earlier. It's the kids' Thanksgiving time, and I, I, um, it's the kids' Thanksgiving time. You um, said that, and, and it makes less sense each time. Yeah, I. They have a Thanksgiving feast. Where so in the kids? My remi- in, my, in my reminders, you can see there, right there, it just says corn today, 9 30 a.m. Also, does it say not a scavenger's rain? Yeah, it's a yeah, dope it's show. A show I heard about that I thought sounded good, so I put it on my to do list. Oh, that's I'm cool. I'm going to watch that. Yeah. I think it might and be a fun segment thing. on this show to just occasionally go through our notes and to do lists on our phone and just look at the tragic orphaned tasks that have gone long by the wayside. I'm pretty sure I have shit from 2017 on there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I had to make five. I didn't do good at the sign up. I would have loved to flex flex ass on those on those kids. <laughs> Give them a baked good to delight them. But the J-Man was a little slow on the trigger. And Vicky signed up for two different things. Hey, Vicky. Vicky. It's not a contest, Vicky. It's not a contest, Vicky. You need to bring paper towels and cookies. Mm. All right. <laughs> okay, a little suspect. But the only thing left for the J-Man was corn. And I had to make enough corn for 20 kids, which uh, it could be three cups. It could be infinity. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much you, to make. You, and I see you went with infinity because you- I settled on five pounds of corn. That's so frozen. much corn, J-Man, for it's these little way, mouths. So much, co- so much corn. I hope those kids like corn. I also There's think five pounds. Justin, it. it was also, I would say, unreasonable of the school to ask you to do that at 945 this morning. Yeah, it's when weird they knew that they you had to record that. at 10. Uh, uh it says on there 930. I just didn't think it would take so long to make corn. Corn's never taken me well, a half hour. My, this is so much corn. My, my sweet, I think cooking five pounds of anything is gonna take longer than cooking. A, sm- a normal a normal amount of corn. Which takes longer to cook, five pounds of corn or five pounds of feathers? Mm, think about <laughs> it. I think feathers cook <laughs> point. wicked fucking fast. Probably. Right. Oh, my secret, I had a little sugar in there. Why do you it hate helps bring out the sweetness. So Why? The sugared sweetness of corn? corn? Sugared corn? Yeah, man. Yeah, you get the frozen corn and then you melt it, some butter in there and then you put on some sugar. About like half stick per pound and a tablespoon per pound. 
And the frozen corner really elevates. Those kids are going to go bananas. Jamie now, Oliver uh, is going to have a conniption when he, he didn't about die for up. this. He didn't die I did for it. this. I didn't salt it uh, because if you salt it too early, it'll dehydrate it. So I, I asked Sid, I said, your mom is picking this up from our house and taking it to the feast. Can I just, you think it'd be all right to leave her like a baggie of kosher salt? And she very wisely said, that's not something you can send into the school with my mom. Around. <laughs> you can't send a bag of what appear to be drugs, absolutely no question drugs, yeah. uh, into the school with my mom. My yeah. mom. So I didn't do that. I That'd just be a pretty brazen play. Big salt shaker. Um, yeah, it would be. But like, who's going to question it? Sometimes the broadest, the greatest crimes happen in broad daylight. Ocean's 14. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Sorry. I now that the strike is over, I can Dude. announce it. I'm all 14 of Danny's boys. Yeah. In Oceans 14. Huge. Um huge. You guys can be in the movie too. I think it's heartbreaking. I mean, we're gonna talk a lot of them about movies as we sort of course correct a bit here. But the Garfield Garfield's coming. Garfield's coming fast and strong and hard for you. It is Chris Pratt, the voice of men. <laughs> Chris. We we voted, and this he speaks for men. We this is for all. This man speaks and for all. Listen, of us. no notes to everything he does, both in movies and in life. No hey, notes. We chose him to be the voice of men. Yeah. It's on and off the court. Do you um, think? Yep. Do you think Bill Murray had right of first refusal? Um, I'd probably not, pal. I don't think so. Chris Pratt got in there though. The voice of men. We have to have one man voice for movies and TV shows. You all know that. If it's a man voice character, it's got to be Chris. We had this in video games for a long time with freaking Nolan North and uh, Troy Baker. Now it's in movies. It's Chris Pratt, the guy. The guy. I, I will got- tell you, if I'm Ben Schwartz, yeah. I'm quaking in my boots. I'm looking over my shoulder left and right. Oh, they're going to make another Sonic movie? I'm so excited. Wait. Why Wait, am I just hearing about it now? Yeah. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt I'm... as Sonic and Mario. Oh, it's, there's a comment here, the top comment on the Garfield trailer. Can I read it? Because I took a screenshot of it on my phone. Yeah, please. It's very good. Please. Um, so from Spider Waffles 105 commented, Oh, God, all I hear is Chris Pratt. I don't hear Garfield. <laughs> Do you think that's, that they mean in the so trailer fair. or like all the time every day? I don't hear Garfield anymore. <laughs> I can't hear him. I can't hear Garfield Honey? anymore. Honey, I can't hear Garfield. Justin, turn, I have turn to- Turn up Garfield in my cans. I can't I ha- hear Garfield. I can't hear. Can I get some more gar- pot up the Garfield? Justin, I have to ask, because you keep looking off camera, are you continuing to cook five pounds of corn just off screen? Do you have a baby monitor set up on the corn? No, what the- I said, no, this is a new innovation in podcasting technology. This is great. Okay. Uh, I have two monitors now. So you know how I spend a lot of time while you guys are talking, moving my tabs around, trying to get everything set the way I like it. Okay. Now I have two months. So now I'm over here. I've got information. I've got data. Okay. I've got stocks, charts. Uh, The charts are the graphs. Real time timers, tickers. Yeah. Feedback. Haptics. Um, That's cool. Buttons. All the the buttons here. No, that's. (laughs) Yay. Hooray for me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's two monitors. Don't I'm not distracted. I'm I'm. This is working. This is working. So They're the work working. is all around you now. Is there the a work hot is plate all with corn me. with sugared corn on it? Also, needed that's you that done. You just sort of, okay, that's you done. didn't keep the a little corn, for you. You didn't shave a little off the top for Papa. The corn part of my day. It, no, listen, listen. Yeah, I'm not above a little cheeky taste. <laughs> I know. Oh, I knew. You know, you know what I did? You know what I did? Tell I me, got a me, scoop Papa. out with the spatula and I did a little sprinkle roux on top just for me, like salt by, and I ate it and it was delicious. So you'll put uh, salt on your corn. You can't do it right away, is what Justin said. You got to deploy the salt right before consumption. I yeah, mean, otherwise it dehydrates. It sucks the air, the water out of the corn. If it's in a Tupperware container, there's hey, nowhere Griffin, for the hydration. One person on this call out of three has just dealt with five pounds of corn. I don't <laughs> think you can come to Justin and be like, in my experience. <laughs> when I cook five pounds of corn, I'll tell you how I do it. I don't remember the last time I cooked corn. I certainly don't do it off of the cob. Um that's uh, that's unique to me. But I I'm get just it. saying, if you're taking corn to the, to the Thanksgiving barbecue, yeah. don't mm-hmm. salt it if you're bringing like a lot, however much that might be. Be okay. it one pound, two, five, whatever. Okay. 
Um, I have a new uh, segment I want to try out here real quick. I want that. Oh, thrilling. Yeah. So wow. This is a You're on game. a hot streak, Trav, with Thank the segments, much. I gotta say. You, it's been a, a little... while since there's been a real stinker in the mix. Okay. This is a, a little <laughs> game show I like to call Separated by a Common Slanguage. Okay. Mm, wow. I'm going to okay. read you guys some slang. Okay. And you're going to tell me it's three different categories. First category, is this Australian slang or Appalachian okay. slang? Okay. Okay. What's the third category? Well, so there's Australian slang or Appalachian slang, German or Appalachian, Victorian or Appalachian. Okay, this game is pretty confusing so far, if I'm being honest. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm going to read them all in an Appalachian accent to make it even more difficult. That's not fair. Okay. Okay. These are the first three. Better than a ham sandwich. Champ. Fair suck of the sauce bottle. Which of those three, one of them is Appalachian, two are Australian? Oh, man. Okay. Can you give them to me one more time? Better than a ham sandwich. Champ. Fair suck of the sauce bottle. So I'm going to say that... This is Australian. Justin's taking too long. It's not Appalachian. I would know these if they were One of them is Appalachian. One of them is. What is your comprehension today, Griffin? You got to you gotta get with it. This is a fast hey, paced he didn't joke, have, okay? He, his brain doesn't have corn power going on right now. Please cut him some slack, Justin. I had to activate every neuron I have up here to get all that corn done, okay? I'm firing on all cylinders we all the time. We may just be too tired for this game today, Trav. I, I'm not... Who's tired? I'm I'm alive. All right. I'm alive. I got so much corn upstairs. Nobody can bring me down. I'm going to say, Travis, Appalachian, Australian, Australian. Okay. I think ham sandwich is the Appalachian. Yes. Griffin? I agree with that answer. Incorrect. Fuck. Better than a ham sandwich is Australian. Champ, and it means better than nothing. Champ is uh, Appalachian for a haircut. Uh, if someone's hair is too long, a champ is needed. And fair suck of the soft bottle is Australian. It means uh, that they want to be treated fairly. Okay. I Next. wish that I wish we had that. I wish we could claim that one. That's my favorite of the bunch, obviously. <laughs> German yeah. or Appalachian. Okay. All right. Okay. If these are going to be in the German language. No, the, easy. The, I'm gonna say them once again in an Appalachian accent. Get the cow off the ice. You can steal horses with him. I don't chew my cabbage twice. So the last one's German. German. Has to be, must be. I fr unless. think first two are Appalachian. Unless there's only one Appalachian. Cow on the ice. No, so, steel horse. No, cow on the ice. Justin? Is Appalachian. Ste I'm going to go steel horse. Incorrect. You can steal horses with him is a German slang for someone who is trustworthy. Get the cow off the ice is German for avert Im imminent danger. And I don't chew my cabbage twice is Appalachian for I don't repeat myself. I knew it, you Ma, you knew. You knew that we would hear cabbage and think Germany, Travis. You knew. I cabbage, did, capital of the world. I'm in your heads. Is that one <sighs> last one? Victorian or Appalachian? Victorian. No, Griffin. Bags of mystery. Whooper ups. Splatterment. Wait, how many are Appalachian? Just one, one is Appalachian. One more time, please. Yes. Bags of mystery. Whooper ups. Splatterment. Whooper ups is Appalachian. That's that's where I'm going to. Incorrect. God, bag, unbelievable. Bags of mystery is a uh, Victorian slang for sausages. Whooper ups <laughs> is Victorian for inferior and noisy singers. And splatterment is Appalachian for a mess or a fight. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That is that was so much harder than I thought it very would be. Very hard. Very educational. Was it funny? A little light on the laughs, I will say. Now, here's it. the thing, though. Here's why it's funny. Everybody <laughs> listening, use all of those in your daily life. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's, so this is more of a value add. Sort of it a was a backdoor, marketing. can I tell you? It was a backdoor play along at home. I just didn't want to brand it that Travis, way. Travis Patrick <laughs> Mac <laughs> it's a Travis, and after I complimented you two, play, Travis. It's a, it was a backdoor play along at Listen, home. Listen, bud. Play along at home is the worst thing you've ever made. That's on why this show. I didn't say it at the top, Griffin. Well, that's why I said it at the end. A rose by any other name, a, sh a turd by any other name, is still not pleasant to have in the podcast. That is unfortunate, Travis. I feel you don't know how much hard work of your own 
labor you have just undone. <laughs> no, see, Griffin, I was feeling that I put myself too high on the pillar. I needed to take myself down a peg to rebuild. There was too much pressure on me. I had to throw a game or two yeah. just to like rebuild. Underdog story, we're back in it. Yeah, Trav Nation's been getting a little complacent. They need to remember that it's not always great to be a part of Trav That's true. Nation. You Sometimes, need to remind them. They got to stick with you through thick and thin. Yeah. It's the old Trav Nation slang. Sometimes it rains in Trav Nation. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Australian slang. Well, Trav Nation legally owns Australia now. We okay. can, you, can you believe they released that flipping Garfield trailer on a Monday? <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. He sucks. notoriously hates those. Yeah. Hey, I uh, Inside Out 2 is, is on its way out. Did you guys see that got announced? Yeah. And there's new emotions, you know, in because of course, right? But I was thinking like, what we're just, what are, are some we doing emotions? a second intro right now? Just so no, I'm no, clear. no. I'm, this is just a question. It's a thought starter. You don't what get to Travis. Emotions? You do not get You're to right. talk about the content of the show. For uh, what are some emotions that you would like to see represented in Inside Out Two that you don't think have been given a fair shake? What are some feelings that you have had, and who would you like to see play them? Okay, because oh. for me, here's what here's an emotion that I've never seen in those. Looking at the toilet paper roll holder and seeing that it's empty and deciding not to use the bathroom because you don't want to go get toilet Ooh, paper. That's that cool. is a feel, that's, I've it? never seen. What? Who would play it? Who would play it? Hugh Laurie, right? I mean, oh, it's got to, it's like very proper because yeah. you want it to be, you don't want it to be somebody gross. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they got Patrick Stewart to play a big poop in the emoji movie. Also true. Great point, Griffin. I, Great point. I would like to see the feeling you have um, when you commit to like going to a social event and you're excited about it at the time, and then it's like three days later and it's time to go to the social event, and you wish you had said no, but it's too late to back mm. out, as played by Connor Ratliff. That could be good. Oh, that's a good, that, that would be really good, actually. That tracks. Yeah. Griff, do you have any emotions in your Period. daily life? <laughs> um, I would love to see all the other emotions, including the new ones, band together against uh, Tired who would be sort of like the end of Akira sort of situation, just like, and, and I'm thinking Eric Stone Street. I think we get Eric Stone Street to play Tired, and mm. they have to save, because in this one, the girl is now like 36 years old, yeah. and Tired sort of negates all the other emotions. Right, and Tired wins at the end, I'm assuming? Yeah. Is that, yeah? I would also love if we could add the passive observer, just the sort of uh, audience to all of these emotions and thoughts, a sort of invisible force that never changes and is always present within you. Just sort of like watch, and everybody else starts to get really <laughs> uncomfortable once they realize the passive observer is. But that, this may be good for Inside Out 3. Inside Out 3 yeah. is just like all of them looking over their shoulders as just the passive observer <laughs> watches like, I witness you. Yeah. And they're like, man, this sucks. What if in Inside Out Three they find the soul? Yeah, they like open the they open a door and it's like, fuck! Yeah, oh we shit! Guys. Oh shit! Pure consciousness. Whoa! What if they open a door and it's the Holy Spirit? <laughs> <Whoa>. What? <laughs> yes, Riley welcomed me in last year, and I've just been kicking around. Yes, cool. Also, uh, just to throw it out, uh, regret as voiced by Chris Pratt, just okay. to get him in there. <laughs> Regret is Chris Pratt. The, in this adult inside out, I think that the emotion horny does roll up, but then the door to the Holy Spirit opens and he just like pops out and blasts it with his hand. Burns it away. Until it disappears. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my work here is done. That would be sick. That would be sick. That would be, that would be a sick Yeah, that would be a sick Before scene. I leave, uh, let me teach you how to juggle yeah. so that you may spread my word. Uh, yeah, inside out. Uh, three is is uh, not yet announced, no. so but it will be. But trademark, I guess TM on that if they do it. So this is an advice show. Yeah, one question. When I was about twelve years old, my best friend recorded my voicemail greeting on my cell phone by introducing herself as my secretary and offering to take a message for me. I'm now in my late twenties and will be graduating from veterinary school soon. I still have the same voicemail greeting, and people now often acknowledge my secretary in the voicemails they leave. As I'm becoming a more of a real adult and airing my professional career, do I need to change my voicemail? Yes. Am I misleading people into believing that I'm more important than I actually am by pretending I have a secretary? If I don't have to change my voicemail now, at what age do I need to change it? That's from Just Call Back Later in California. Sorry, 
you think when people he- who don't know you hear this voicemail, their first thought is like, oh, I guess they have a secretary and not, why do they have a child secretary? <laughs> why do they have a 12-year-old secretary? How is that even allowed? That's fucking wild. Now, if you call me a grown man, a professional business owner, you call me and you hear, hi there, uh, uh, Mr. McAvoy can't come to the... Actually, that's pretty... That would be Hold on, I'm changing my whole funny. shit. That would be pretty cool, actually. It'd be funny. Do you guys have voicemails? Do you have voicemails? I don't know, Justin. I genuinely. This is what I'm saying. I've ne- I haven't thought about mine in years. I have no idea of having. I voicemail certainly haven't not. listened to any of my yeah. voicemails in a long time. Hey guys, call call. Hey, 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 Trav, Trav, yeah. call me and see what happens. I'm not going to answer Obs. Yeah, it would be weird if you God, did. there's so many devices around me that are about to go wild. <laughs> I know, I man. Brace, <laughs> Whenever brace anyone myself. calls me, it's Defcom One across all the pads. <laughs> Everything. Nope. Nope. Nothing. If I call you and I hear any voice other than that voice, and this is not you two, this is everyone on earth. If I call someone and I hear a voicemail message, it kind of freaks me out. Yeah. Because I, like, I'm always expecting to hear that, and when I don't hear that, I get really upset for no reason at all. I need to. I want. I was a member of the They Might Be Giants fan club like ten years ago, and they did personalized. Voicemail greetings for everybody. I have that somewhere on my hard drive. We can I have do no that idea now how to get. That's it's a such f- a walled garden. I don't yeah. know how to get back on here. We could record voicemail messages for people to you, like if we wanted to do some sound bites right now that people could oh, like, rip out huge. of this. Oh, okay. That's going to get us okay. a lot of traction. Maybe they can. We can sell it on the iTunes store for. There you go. Yeah, cents. let me try one. Okay. Wait, can we? No. Okay. Well, okay. Let me what? try. Let me try one. Not if we give them away for free here. I I feel very confident to say that. Okay. I do feel that that would make it tough. But let's do it. In, I mean, I think we should do it anyway. Because okay. who's going to take the time? Yeah. Hey there, it's me, Mr. Doug's secretary. You were calling now, Mr. Doug. Now, don't say a name. Don't say but, a name. Okay. Hey, it's me. You're calling a very important businessman's secretary. That's me, the secretary. He's dead now. You're not going to be able to get a hold of him ever no, again. You know, it's this not, is no, 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 Stupid. Nobody's gonna use that. Also, you do need to say a name. It's wild to have your yeah, not have on. your name. I'll let me try. Like, <laughs> hey, but you need to have is... first and last, Travis. So okay. we're gonna have to do a lot of these. Okay. Hey, this is Mark Cuban's secretary. You're <laughs> calling Mark Cuban, but he's so busy right now with business meetings and Shark Tanks and whatnot, so he can't come to the phone. Leave the a phone? message after. Griffin, if you keep interrupting me, <laughs> sorry, we're it's never just, gonna get it clean. I wasn't expecting Defoe from this character. That well, came out of no. That's what makes her unique. Can okay, I try it one more time, please? Sure, sure, sure. Yes, please. <sighs> okay. Hey, you're calling Lorne Michaels. This is his secretary. Lorne's really busy interviewing new comedians and auditioning people and hanging out with Will Ferrell. He can't come to the phone right now because he's so busy. But if you want to audition or whatever, just leave a message after the beep. Love you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me finish that one. I, okay. Can I do one, please? Yeah, sure. Please. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks for calling Santa. Yes, I have a real phone number. And now that you know it, you can ask me for one wish that I am legally required to grant. Leave your wish at the beep. That's very good. That was good. I like that. And then, yeah, I mean, like, Santa has a phone number. That's cool. It's nice to. It's cool. You would hear that and be like, oh shit, I must have misdialed. But the good news is. But now I have Santa's phone number. In doing so, I've gotten Santa Claus's phone number. And I have one wish. Mm. Yeah. And here it is. Griffin, do you have one? And, but you have, like, if, but you have to think fast, right? Yeah, right. Like, you're not going to have time to plan it. Like, the beep is coming. Hi, this is Griffin McRoy from Podcast. I don't know who you're trying to call right now. They didn't answer. It's outrageous that you didn't text them. They're probably not going to listen to this. They're definitely not going to return your call because if you had the ability to text them, you would have done so. And if not, you're probably trying to get money from them for something. So I guess you can leave a message here. I'm, I'm telling you they're not going to hear it. Just shoot them a text. I promise you they will get back. They always, always, always get back to me. I love you. Wow, I did not expect. Don't the put twist that part at the, end. the end. Yeah, that one's just. Don't for put you. that part. Yeah, I'd st- I'd clip it before that. Um, oh wait, question. wait, I got There's one more. I got one more. I want to. Yeah, sure. Oh, 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 oh yeah, sure. Oh, uh, 
Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, this is the CIA. Um, we've been monitoring this user's phone. I don't know how the wires got crossed. Oh. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to monitor your phone now too. If you could leave a message with like all your personal data, Agent anytime. Moses, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, you're gonna want to change. Your are name you and crank move. calling again, Agent Moses? No, of course not, sir. Okay, I'm sorry about all this. I love you. Bye. Give me your gun and your badge. What? No, you can't we do this, can't, sir. This is all I have. Keep putting, I, keep putting I love you in there. Isn't that interesting? I don't know why that that keeps. There's just not enough love in the world, in. Justin. Yeah, we're just trying to spread it around. Try this one. Hey, hello. I'm <sighs> sorry. You have the wrong number. That's it. That's all. Oh, I thought, okay, that was it. How about another question? Me and my girlfriend have been going to the gym for five months now, and sometimes when I'm at the beach, sorry, bench, with her spotting me, I occasionally ask for her uh, a quick pep talk to push through the set. Problem is she's really bad at giving me improv pep talks. She always gives me the same uninspiring talk every time she responds to the question. Do you guys have any advice on how she could give better pep talks at the gym? That's from Totally Swollen. San Francisco, and you've obviously come to the exact right yeah. place. Yep. I mean, you could just recreate the scene from Matilda when that kid eats the whole cake. Like, that yeah. was pretty inspiring for me. If you just want to, like, chant, like, eat the cake, eat the cake. Eat like, the cake. That's very good. Ca that's good. Well, that's not, I mean, that is part of why that boy succeeded. The other part was having the trunch bowl there to as sort of the the force chasing him. Mm. You, need a fe you need a fear uh, in addition to and encouragement. Um, what what kind of fear drives you to get your splats at Orange Theory, Griffin? When I'm at Orange Theory getting my splat points, I have a, you know what it is? The lock screen on my phone is the trunch bowl. Oh. Um, yeah, so if I look down at the trunch bowl and uh, see her and think about how she wants to put me in the chokey or yeah. throw me out the window, by my pigtails, I'm yeah. like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. I see the trunch bowl on my phone and I'm like, I'm gonna splat. Yeah. That's, you, they make you yell that. <laughs> At Orange Theory. That loud? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna splat! I, I got 30 splat points earlier this week. That My voice was hoarse by the end of the session. Whoa, yeah. Griffin. Griffin, what what about an imagined point system that your your uh, partner can like bring out when you're having trouble getting through a set? Like, come on, you're almost, to green, you're almost in the green energy zone. If you just keep Ooh, pumping, I like you're that. gonna get... You're gonna get a thousand points. Look, I'm looking at the meter over here. It's like you're you about to your level kids. up. You're about to fill your whole broccoli zone, and then your ice cream zone will open up if you fill the broccoli zone. It's just like that. Like you, you're, oh my god, the the blade of embers. You're about to earn the blade of embers. <laughs> oh, with that's shit. awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Would, yeah. Then you have to have something there. It could be a um, like a postcard with a picture of a sword or a real sword yeah, or something. whatever. Something, yeah. but you do have to ha produce something. But like, I feel like if there was, I mean, it's just a inventing orange theory again, but you can just make up points. Make it, well, it's for no, make yeah. it green theory yeah. or whatever. There's a, there's a few issues with orange theory. I would say that the main one for me is that they call their measurement system for how good you're exercising splat points. And that's a that's, problem for you. That's my main issue with them is that they went ahead and they, called those splat points. Between I that and they, the orange, it makes me think so hard of 1990s Nickelodeon television, by yeah. the way, mm. splat and yeah. it's orange. No, they knew what they okay. were doing. 90s kids remember this get fucking jerked. And uh, <laughs> I will also- Let's see those temple guards get me now. <laughs> yeah, if, well, hold on. That's a better idea than the idea I was having is a gym that is just <laughs> the fucking end of Legends of the Hidden Temple that you have to get through. Do you have any idea how high I would splat if I had Trunchbull on the phone and <laughs> Temple Guards behind me? Yeah. I would be, I would leap, I would smash through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. So, so heavy would be my splats. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, if it was me, I know that all the person the encouraging needs to do is say like, whoa, no one's ever bench pressed like this before. Yeah. You're doing it the best anyone's ever done it. Like yeah. everybody Don't was talking me. about it earlier of what a good job you're doing. Yeah. And I'm We're so it. proud of you. And even if I know they're lying, I'm still gonna feel boosted by about 20%. Now, yeah, absolutely. experience points would be dope if you could level up mm. by doing exercise. But then when I level up, I would expect a certain incremental increase in my power or speed 
or or some kind of unlock web, you know, where it's just like now you yes. have this skill. If I could work out so hard that I get better at cooking, that, that would, would be, be amazing. Huge. You know what I mean? I work yeah. out so hard that I can do magic now. Yeah. Yes, please. I'm trying to learn French, but. I can't get the license for it until I get level five weightlifting. Yeah. You know yeah, that's exactly. a prerequisite. What, you want to buy this armor? You're level three. Get out of here. Get out of here. You might want to have a conversation with your partner. Gross. Um, a very respectful Ugh. but private conversation about whether or not they would be comfortable, if you are struggling to finish a set, if they would be comfortable calling you a little bitch baby. That's never brought someone pleasure. Now that's interesting. And that, that, oh. a little a little bitch baby that's never pleased anyone. Yeah, that might be effective. Who couldn't lift anything? Can't can't support me. Can't support the weights. So that's a little nothing man mm. who can't even. Uh, yeah, who doesn't deserve to breathe the same air as me? Right. Just yeah. like different things that like that. Real and then, real mm, trunchbull just, stuff. You're real saying. trunchbull <laughs> yeah. stuff. Now you will that, need you, you will need I think uh, a version of your partner. That is like maybe in all white with a halo. Who's like, don't you say that about my ultimate warrior? They're yeah, a big, yeah. powerful bear. They could do this, right? And so you that kinda, might kind of ru- that might even now that you say that, I might even ruin it. Cause, <laughs> yeah. you know, because uh, maybe you just want the the maybe you just want the one part of it that's uh-huh. like you're a weak little cuck, nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish I could ground you. But into what the if dirt. you don't want that part and you just want like, well, you're <laughs> Superman on. and you're yeah. so powerful. Look at your big muscles. You're that's, a great guy. I mean, that would be that would work for some appropriate folks. Appropriate in a lot of situations. Listen, uh-huh. I'm just saying. Right now, they'd probably ruin, ruin what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, right. Just call you a little trash, nothing, <laughs> dirt ass. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> now listen, <laughs> but not like you're basically a Spartan at this point. You're a male Valkyrie, like <laughs> yeah, you're an unstoppable no. <laughs> force. Like Hercules himself will be put to shame. Yeah. When when, ex- when when made to exercise, <laughs> one is either motivated by the Trunchbull or the Miss Honey, but no yeah. one is both. No you can't one do both. They no one's ever out. like, you know what I love? Hey guys, I've had this fantasy go for a while now. If I could hook up with Trunchbull and Miss Honey at the same time, <laughs> I broke Stop Justin. It. I broke Justin. The very idea. They're related. They're related. You That's gross. That's I mean, Travis. It. You made it gross with that. You made it gross and ruined the joke. Maybe one after the other. Then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but Travis, I feel compelled to ask which first. I'm, I will hang up on the call. Let's go to the money zone. Let's go to the money zone. Let's go to the money zone. Here we go. Whee! Listen, you hear that? You know what that is, Justin? Yeah. What is it, Trev? Your business is humming. Yeah, but I, I'm worried that it's, it's falling behind a little bit because it's I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, obviously, Justin, you're like a business baby. You know, yeah. you everything's doing manual. Your people, all 26 of them, are doing manual work, and it takes forever to close your books. It's like pulling teeth. And if that sounds like Justin, yeah, it's been a problem. Justin, if that sounds like you. You should get to know three numbers. 36,000, okay. 25, okay. one. Okay. 36,000. Okay. That's the number of businesses which have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. Okay. It's the what number one. The, you said some other numbers. Oh, yeah, but there's more coming. Hold on. NetSuite oh, okay. is the number one cloud financial system, streamlining accounting and financial management, inventory, HR, and more. Now, I, said, I also said okay. 25. That's the age you need to be able to rent a car, but it's also the age that NetSuite turns this year. So... NetSuite wants you to know that they'll be able to rent a car. No problem. They don't need their dad there or anything. Because that's 25 <laughs> no years of deal. help. No big deal. They're 25. That's right. They're trusted. Because that's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less, close their books in days, not weeks, and drive down costs. And one, Justin, one, one, that's what we all are. We're one. Wow, Trav. That's yeah. cool, man. But also your That's business. That's cool, man. Also, the, the, the copy says your business is one of a kind. So you get customized. Mine is. Yeah. How can we be one of a kind if we're all one, though? Because we're all one of a kind. Okay. Oh. If you think about it, because okay. like kindness, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, one I of a that. kindness. Thank you. So you can Thank get you. customized solution for all your KPIs. What the your, fuck is a yeah. KPI? It stands key for uh, it stands for yeah. key and peel ideas. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. 
and also key performance indicators. So I'd like it's actually two. just a guy named Kip, but yeah. they misspelled it, and they are too embarrassed to admit that. But See, I'll tell you, you get solutions for all your key KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. Manage risk. I go to Kip whenever I want the straight shit. Okay, manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. Everything you need all in one place. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist designed to give you consistently excellent performance absolutely free at netsuite.com slash mybrother. That's netsuite.com slash mybrother to get your own KPI checklist. netsuite.com slash mybrother. Do you know the the gift that I have given to the most people that have been the happiest with it, that have continued to ask and mention it is the aura a sweet frame. kiss. I thought you were gonna say friendship. Oh, no, it's none of that. They don't a want that. What kiss. they want is the aura frame. Uh, you oh, can yeah. set up an aura frame very, very easy. You can set it up before you even give it to somebody, which is fantastic. Yeah. You set it up, you get it on their Wi-Fi, and then you can send them like photo. First of all, you preload with a bunch of photos. You can also send them photos like wirelessly. You, something happens and you want to send it along. You just just shoot it on over. No, no big deal. We have one set up in our living room. And as soon as we get home from like an outing with the girls, we mm -hmm. immediately just send pictures to the aura from the thing oh, we just that's did. Cool. Um, and my favorite thing about it is Dot, who is uh, just about four years old, look any picture that is like uh, younger BB or younger Dot. And she goes, is that me when I was younger? That's and I sweet. love it so much every that's time. It's very good. Um, yeah, th they are, they are, uh, fantastic and they're, they are a fantastic gift to give a gift. The whole family will enjoy this holiday season from now through black Friday and cyber Monday. No, is having they're the coming best deal of the year. Listeners can save $40 on the perfect gift by visiting auraframes.com slash my brother. That's a U R a frames.com slash my brother and use promo code my brother to get $40 off their best selling frames. Terms and conditions apply. Hey, listen, no joke. Get an extra one. And someone is going to be like around your house that you forgot, a grandma, grandpa, whoever, and you'll just like have it and bust yeah. it out. No problem. Problem solved. They love pictures of things that have already happened. They love Grandmas that. and grandpas. That's true. They, they don't the like past. pictures of the future. That will confuse them and freak them they out. I hate that. Don't do it. Do not send pictures of the future. Oh, darling, why won't you accept my love? My dear, even though you are a duke, I could never love you. You, you borrowed a book from me and never returned it. <gasps> Save yourself from this terrible fate by listening to Reading Glasses. We'll help you get those borrowed books back and solve all your other reader problems. Reading Glasses, every Thursday on Maximum Fun. I'm Emily Heller. And I'm Lisa Hannawalt. And we're the hosts of Baby Geniuses. We've been doing our podcast for over 10 years. When we started, it was about trying to learn something new every episode. Now it's about us trying to actively get stupider. And it's working. <laughs> Hang out with us and you'll hear us chat about... Gardening. Horses. Various problems with our butts. And all the weird stuff that makes us horny. That's so weird, all that stuff. <laughs> Baby Geniuses, a show for adult idiots every other week on Maximum Fun. Baby geniuses, we know everything. Baby geniuses, tell us something we don't know. Fun a little loop. Yes. Ten a little loop. Mm. All right. I want a munch squad. Bop, 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 bop. Sorry, corn. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I you want... got that corn throat. <clears throat> corn. I want to munch corn. Welcome to Munch Squad's podcast within podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. I have a uh, a uh, just a wider range of products and services for you guys today. How okay. many of them are um, corn first, related? Yeah. Um, broadly speaking, probably all. Yeah. yeah. Um, real quick. Uh, uh, this is just a great headline, Griffin. I was hoping uh, you could read this headline for me. Okay. Where's this data coming just in? Shared it in Riverside. Riverside. Okay. This is coming in hot off the presses. Nation's giant hamburgers has pies for the holidays. <laughs> what? Nation's giant just... hamburgers has pies. 
Listen, we've been warning you guys about AI for years, and nobody's listened. Yeah. (laughs) Can I say something, though? hamburgers. If if this is the kind of heat that AI is bringing, now I'm on board. The stealing art and stuff and repurposing it and trying to make every person redundant, I don't like that. But if AI wants to come at me and be like, Nation's Giant Hamburgers has pies for the holidays, I'll be like, that's whimsical as fuck, Cyberman. I don't know what it means. There's a reading of that that makes it sound like sentient giant hamburgers are enjoying pies for the holidays. Like, yeah. Yeah, have you guys tried these things? It seems like- Yeah, hamburgers, it's called pies. We love I, them. I think Giant Hamburgers wrote this headline. <laughs> Taco Bell has a, a subscription to nacho fries. <laughs> Just, uh, what? <laughs> you it's can a- subscribe to nacho fries. At Taco Bell! Yeah, absolutely. What are we talking is about? $14.99 a month? Is it the monthly or gift? annually? Well, it is a, uh, a subscription pass for nacho fries. It's good for 30 days. Well, okay. hold on. It's not a very good subscription, is it? Are there, hold, well, I mean, hold on. It'll be good. What for do you it. think this deal looks like, Griffin? What does the subscription to Nacho Fries look like in your world? What do you if think? If it's anything less than every day for 30 days, I get to come into any Taco Bell I want and lose myself in a pleasure. And the music, the moment. A, 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 if, a, do you mean, by of, this, do you mean one order of fries? <laughs> no, I'm imagining a sort of queso erotic dreamscape <laughs> that I can <laughs> dive into headlong every Well, day you get one order of fries and then it's $10 a month for that. For for 10 bucks a month, you can get a subscription to nacho fries. To so, get one a day? One a day. Well, not one fry, one order. <laughs> well, yeah. That one was order of fries per day, like though. That. So 30 orders yes. of fries. Yeah. Okay. We're committed so, to pushing the boundaries of convenience and innovation for our biggest fans, our loyalty members. The Nacho Fries Lovers Pass is just one example of how we're leveraging digital technology to enhance their experience. The Nacho Fries Lovers Pass, Nation's Giant Hamburgers, has pies. <laughs> Nation's <laughs> Lovers Pies Hamburgers. <laughs> nacho Nation's fries Lovers Pies. 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 pies Lovers Hamburgers. Pies Lovers Hamburgers Nacho Pass. <laughs> I'm actually just going to be like, calories, 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 need calories. For organism life, 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 calorie, life. Pass for life, queso life, <laughs> fast, fast more life, human queso. fuel, ten dollar of human fuel quesoed. Our dedication to our fans and killing them. <laughs> Sorry, wait, I misread. <laughs> our dedication to killing our, our dedication to our fans and an innovative customer experience continues to be a driving force. You know, b- uh, behind Captain our Hook efforts. once said that death would be the ultimate innovative customer experience. <laughs> weird he said that this is not even the headline today guys it's not even the headline because the headline today is arby's is celebrating good burger too with an exclusive meal and merch hell yeah arby's though not known for their burgers how many emails were ignored to get to arby's (laughs) yeah right it's not that it's that arby's is desperate to be recognized for burgers they're desperate for this. They're, they they need it. They need this. Yeah. I'm Do you think you they the, reached uh, out to Good Burger? Yes, this is what I'm saying. I am I guarantee you Arby's is like, we are not appreciated in this game. We have got to make our voices, we have got to make our voices heard. And we've yeah. got to have the Good Burger uh, promotional meal. Uh, they're teaming with huh. Paramount Plus. To celebrate the release of Good Burger 2 by introducing a one of a kind meal that enthusiasts of the long awaited sequel are sure to recognize. I mean, damning with fate praise for sure. Like, oh, I recognize this. The oh, Good yeah, Burger it's a 2 meal. <laughs> it's a hamburger. I get it. It is uh, just at a quick RB note starting. Yeah. To the marketing team here, trying to appetize me with a hamburger meal by placing. A, what appears to be sentient hamburger with eyes above it. I did judge a hamburger. Yes, yeah, so, saying, hey, do you want to eat my brother? Like, I don't know if that's the right way to go, fellas. Guys, if you can't see this image, they're the exact same burger. It's just one has two eyes and is looking right into your soul. Yeah. yeah. Barreling. Uh, so th- this is a, uh, uh, the Arby's Deluxe Wagyu Steakhouse Burger features an American Wagyu blended burger with American cheese Shredded lettuce, you know, stuff, stuff. 
It's the what if each of Arby's 50... burger cost twenty five dollars to make and they charged like three dollars for it and like it's a loss leader, but we got to get people to eat these burgers. This tell me if this trips you guys up. The Wagyu Steakhouse Burger is a blend of fifty one percent Wagyu and forty nine percent ground beef. That is a recipe that sounds legally mandated it's to definitely, me. definitely, there's no way they go through right? little nugget, beef nugget by beef nugget, like 49, 50, 51. <laughs> Whew. Perfect. It's the most delicious and what we need to be able to legally call uh-huh. it the Wagyu Steakhouse yeah. Burger. 52, 53. Oh, fuck, I got distracted. Uh, hold on, let me pick some of that out. Perfect. Um, they talk about how the movie's coming out on November 22nd. Mm-hmm. which we can finally say to you, and it feels so good to finally be able to mention that. Yeah. Um, it's available. There's also some some merch. There's a gray crew neck sweatshirt Ooh. and a black T-shirt, each yeah. with unique designs. Wait, That's gray? Over Arby's. Is it gray, we, you say? We, mm. Will you guys check out arbysshop.com and let me know if those are sold yeah, out I'll or not? I'm the, trying to work right now. The tab is already open. Paramount Brown, Paramount Brown Street. Paramount Brand Studios is thrilled to collaborate with Arby's to bring Home of the Good Burger to life through a multifaceted campaign that will immerse fans in the iconic world of Good Burger 2. That's somebody from Paramount. Now, through interestingly, co-branded- Justin, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, breaking news. The Arby's Good Burger 2 crew neck sweatshirt is not sold out, but does only go up to XL. Trav, uh, all I'm going to say to you right now is that Christmas is just around the corner. That's These all I'm shirts, right Juice, now. I'm sorry. These shirts suck shit, my man. <laughs> now, listen, I have bought a good amount. I, like, my let's closet just, is basically Stitch Fix and Arby's at this I'm point. I'm doing some clicking, Justin. Don't you worry. There, there's some buttons <laughs> being takes written. A lot, I gotta though. log in? <laughs> it's not so your problem. Easy? Hold on, Travis. <laughs> you already have a pre-existing Arby's no! account? No. Okay. They won't even let me check out as a guest. Do you, it's Trav, Arby's. Do you, it's Arby's. Trav, Why do they need a- Trav, if you just... Ho- if you can like position the screen so that my face my face ID will unlock it at Arby's shop. I have a, a premium platinum express they membership. They don't make Justin do captures at Arby'sshop.com. They They don't make me pay. They, <laughs> <laughs> just it's like the one time that Troy Brown came into the Best Buy I worked at. We we're just like, whatever CDs you want, man, just go for it. <laughs> um do you think, so, you yeah, think when they made this partnership, Arby's tried to get in the room with Good Burger producers and were like, can you th- just thin the beef in your film a little bit? If you could make the just beef a little f- bit. film so much thinner. When you say it's 55% Wagyu, that's really messing with us. If you could just bump that down a bit. And really just shave the beef instead of squishing it into uh, the circle shape that you all seem to love so much. It makes us want to barf. We love the thin beef so much around here. It's better. In Dang it. There's a pop-up event right now while we're recording this. I mean, exactly right now at a Johns Creek Arby's location that's transforming it into a good burger. Whoa. Day. That There's is... going to be recognizable decor throughout <laughs> Okay, and that's a nine and a half hour drive from me. If I leave right now, I think I can get there before they close. It goes till seven. I'm sorry. Damn it. I'm sorry, Graf. If I drive yeah. really fucking fucking super fast and dangerous, then I can get there. God, before I wish they I close. could get there. God, I wish there is a world in which I'm there. Close your it's eyes, not Justin. This Justin, one. close your eyes. You're oh, yeah, already there. That's right. Take a look around. Look under your chair, Juice. There's a good bur- there's a good burger there waiting for you. There's also a picture of my face on the wall. Do not let this man in. He expects everything for free. <laughs> He's such a hot shot. <laughs> he never brings money. <laughs> the web guys love him, but they're here in the brick and mortar. We can't stand this fucking dude. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Whoa. Do hey, you guys I know- want another question? No, we're doing things a bit out of order, but I've forgotten that uh I have a wizard, a quick one. It's uh, it was sent in by uh, Brennan. Thank you, it's, Brennan Lee uh, Mulligan. I knew you were gonna fuck. Oh my do gosh! That. No, what a get! Just a different Brennan, and it's uh, uh, it's how to contact your guardian angel. Oh Ooh. yes, please. Um, it's the title of it is uh, th- four ways to contact your guardian angel, which is awesome because like the fact that there's more than one way to contact your guardian angel is like pretty sick honestly yeah that guardian mm-hmm. angels are that like 
receptive and available to us. Ooh, and, like, I don't know. Flexible. I would take it the other way, Griffin, because if there's only one way, all you need is one way. Four sounds more like, well, if you can't get me this way, yes. try this way. And like, it sounds like there's more of an excuse why you couldn't get them. I yes. left you a voicemail. Oh, I never check those. No, unfortunate. Read more about guardian angels to strengthen your connection. If you're listening at home, you can skip this step. This qualifies as that. Um, yeah. Keep your grades up. Keep your grades up as step zero. Of course, you will need to do that in order to have the kind of time you need to read more about guardian angels to strengthen your connection. There's a wealth of knowledge in websites online and in books at your local library. Um, even though many religions believe in guardian angels, they hold very different opinions about their nature. Um, but again, there mm. are there's four. Correct. Okay. There's four correct ways. So there's lots of different religions yeah. out there that are like, here's how you can hit up your personal guardian angel and get to do stuff for you. But only four of them are right. Only way number one, befriend a baseball team full of losers. Yes. Right? That's one way that you can do it. One way. Yeah, and then they'll they'll just show up. Um, talk to your parents. If you're very young and not sure which religion your family belongs to, ask your parents for help. Ask them what they believe. Tell them about your attempts at contacting your guardian angel and make sure that they are fine with you doing that. I mean, yeah. That is it. That that yeah, absolutely. Like I want to be I want to be there. Right? That's like I want to be able that's to That's gonna it's gonna protect from like demons posing as guardian angels. Huge. Which they love is that shit. Rampant, especially around Halloween. You guys know what I'm talking about. I do know yep, what you're talking thank you. about. I mean, check time, your kids' candy. Check your kids' candy. There's They're demons in there. Saying. There's demons inside of the bit of honeys. <laughs> um, I will also say one time my baseball team was losing the Halloween tournament, and Christopher Lloyd showed up and was like, hey, kid, need some help? And I was like, yeah, please, Christopher Lloyd. He was like, okay. And then the horns came out. And he got a pitchfork oh, no! and he stabbed the other team to death. <laughs> they did win, though. Your team we did won. win. We won. We took home the cup that year. It was huge. But is that um, part of his nature? That I didn't know that 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 he had that duality. It was a him. false Lloyd. It was a false it was Lloyd. A false it was Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd. Oh, it was Christopher Lloyd, okay. but with a K. I've heard about that. You <laughs> must not this. worship false Lloyds. <laughs> I've heard of this happening, <laughs> so yeah. I am glad. <laughs> Uh, consult a religious leader. Uh, good news, my dad's a pastor, so I already did that. Thank you. Thank you so much for the help. Um, so preparing to contact your guardian angel. Yes, please. Identify your guardian angel. Before you try to contact your angel, make sure that you know who your angel is and what your angel's special powers are. Wait, how <laughs> yeah. do I do that if I haven't contacted him yet? Yeah, I know, right? There needs to be a sort of Pokedex, and then we can go through one by one and be like, yeah. St. Christopher, St. Jeremy, St. Bill, and then you like a cup moves, and you're like, okay, Saint Bill, uh, <laughs> got cool. it. It says here that your powers is, uh, you make it so that my windows get less dirty. Well, that's not uh, very good. You can talk to <laughs> turtles. I, how I'm does impressed. that? Um, let's see how that applies. Uh, to identify your guardian angel, watch for signs. Pay attention to names and symbols that come up a lot. For example, oh, like Travis. Yeah, I see Travis everywhere. <laughs> yeah. For example, if you notice that the name Michael keeps coming up, then your guardian angel might be Michael. Hey, that's a huge, that is a five-star, triple S level pull. If you get out of the guardian angel gotcha <laughs> machine, fucking the archangel. Michael? You got archangel. That's like the hollow Charizard of archangels. One that's day. Like, huge. That's huge. That's it should be it should be the other mic. Uh, you should have there's there's probably other ones, right? It's like John Travolta, Michael. Clarify. That's the way you. Yeah, yeah you no, get, I'm a different Michael. Sorry, um, stupid. Yeah, it, I think if you're going through and you say you know Saint Robert and a cut moves, you're you should be able to like step back from it and like wait and see if maybe tomorrow when you try you could get a better angel. I don't think that that's unreasonable. That seems. Can I say that that seems rude? Yeah, okay, that seems rude to try to get but, a better pull. But going. you only get one angel. You know what I mean, right? So, and I understand. I get get that fully. Get that. That we is love that, that's my but, favorite scene in It's a Wonderful Life, where Clarence shows up and he's like, "Oh, this guy kind of sucks shit." Yeah, um, yeah. Is there any way? <laughs> hey, God, heaven, can you possibly send me a better angel? This guy's a real that's piece fun. of turd. My, f my, f I love. That's my favorite Christmas movie. The one with the old prospector who has to. Um, <laughs> deal with his his 18 <laughs> shitty kids um you may also choose an angel to contact based on that angel's associations for example Raphael is associated with healing and protection for travelers and pizza uh so you may want to contact him <laughs> if you've been dealing with illness if you're planning a trip okay so you can kind of go hunting 
You can go angel hunting. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you can pick the one that is the give. Can you swap? Is that mentioned? Can you trade them in? There, you have to find another person to trade angels with. Yeah. There's not. Oh, you have to, and then you so it is a, exactly you, like Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, you need a cord to connect your cable. angels, yeah, and then you can like transfer. Yeah, uh, some people think of their deceased loved ones as their guardian angels. For example, you might identify a grandparent with whom you were close as your guardian angel. Uh, do they have powers? I don't think so. Also, can they see me yeah. all the time? I don't. That's another huge issue for me. Do I? Does this? Is there a special box I can buy? If I paint my office door red and put a red doorknob on it, yeah. does that mean mm-hmm. that my grandparent guardian angel can't come in and see? Is and there see a Faraday cage that I could masturbate inside? <laughs> <laughs> Saint Michelangelo's jerking at Faraday cage here. Hi, I'm seventh- influencer Travis McRae. Let me tell you my experience with the masturbation Faraday cage, new from Oxa. <laughs> Angels are so <laughs> nosy, but Oxo's got an, a solution. The, the Oxo Good Grips line is getting bigger with this. Uh, the far away grips. Faraday cage. <laughs> there's, there's, I mean, there's learn a special prayer is on here. Many people use special prayers to help them make contact with their angels. Like Some angels have cool prayers ones? you can learn and use when you contact your angel. Okay. If your angel is not well known, you may want to consider writing your own prayer to that angel. You can oh, write a prayer sick. by using the basic structure. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, that if you had be... to lay down, Griffin, if you had to lay down a special prayer right now to your guardian yeah. angel, how would it go? Do you think? Mm. Uh, I mean, which angel am I trying to hit up? Um, let's go with. Uh, oh yeah, let's just stick to like the classic. You're just trying to get Gabriel in there, you know? What oh, I mean? I mean, Gabriel, you got to go classic. He loves the hits. Um, so yeah. like. Uh, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Yeah. Because um, I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. And by that point, he will be like, what do you need? Here's a, here's a sort of light. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, would be, that would be sort of my style, I think. Do you think that there's a way, like, if you try to do a prayer like that, but you mispronounce the angel's name and a different angel shows up, is there a, yeah. prayer, is there a prayer to banish the angel? Yeah. Oh, no, Gabrielle. I mean, you're great, but... No, um, I can't leave until but... I finish what you asked for. Ooh, okay, you can you sword? get inside this circle? I'm going to light a candle real <laughs> yeah. quick. Don't be weird about it. I'm going to make some salt shapes. This is a hobby of mine for art. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, designate a time to contact your angel. Uh, f- I'm going to say 421. Yeah. <laughs> will be a great time for me. My, my third eye will be very receptive to angelic activity at 421. Say um, no more. Say no more. For example, you might start or end each day with five minutes of prayer and meditation near your altar. Oh, did I skip that? And we I need did. an altar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have an altar? <laughs> my bad. This may shed some light on why you need to talk to your parents <laughs> about this. Create an altar. Ah, yeah. Creating an altar might help you to contact your guardian angel by. Is that why you left it out? Just like, eh, I want to give him surefire techniques. Couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt. Uh, uh, Contact your guardian angel by designating a space for spiritual energy to create an altar. Set aside a small space, such as a bookshelf, top of a dresser. Place a cloth over. I almost don't want to outline this in case someone burns their fucking house down and be like, I heard it from Wiki. How through my bim bam through Griffin, and then I'm on the. They don't know. I know this hack. Angels love battery powered candles. They are into okay. them. That it works better. And for years, centuries, they were like, "I can't fucking yep. wait till we get to battery operated candles." You guys, you guys got to see this. Sometimes it's got a little plastic, like a little fire on top that moves around. You yep. got get. Oh, in a couple of years, you guys are gonna love this. They were counting down to the invention of those candles. Oh, I bet. I yeah. bet they're stoked. Some people like to include photos, food, herbs. Crystals, incense, and water as part of their altars. Um, think about an object that reminds you of your guardian angel. Okay. I um, guess I just was kind of taught during my childhood that crystals are of the devil. So I guess I'm just right. confused there. This is yeah. sounding a little bit like maybe um, this, Witchcraft? Th- this yeah. article was written by a woman named Lucy Fur. You well, know what I mean? Possibly. It's entirely possible. That Lucy did that one. Yeah, I'm pretty, I don't remember a lot from our, extru- our pretty religious upbringing in the Southern Baptist tradition, but I'm pretty sure homemade altar work was 
discouraged. Yeah, frowned, yes. frowned upon. I, mainly, mainly for the mess. The yeah. mess is bad. Yeah. The mess is bad. I'm thinking about the mess my kids have left with this altar I, I agreed to, and yeah. I'm not happy about it. And they're using up all my bed, bath, and beyond candles. You know what kids. I mean? Those things aren't cheap. I got the three wick ones. You know how expensive that is? I'm not made of three wick candles. Nope. It smells like a beach house in here, and I love it. But those are summertime candles, and this is autumn, guys. Get it together. Can we? If you're uh, going to use it, do crisp apple pie. Let's skip ahead a little bit. You, the angel's in the room now. Oh, um, shit. Greet your angel. In your mind, say hello to your angel. Thank your mind. angel for watching over you. Then let your angel know about any problems that are bothering you and ask your angel for guidance. If you have learned or prepared a prayer, then take a moment to recite the prayer. You can do this in your head or say the prayer out loud. Okay. Are angels telepathic? We need to figure that out. If they are, yeah. why the fuck did oh. I build an altar? Yeah, that's a good point. I, I should be able just, to yeah. I could just picture an altar in my mind palace. Yeah. That's true. I call my uh mind palace my angel cage because yeah. I trapped one in there. Oh um, boy. Yeah, I got all sorts of angels in here. And I'm about to tell you all about it at length. About my mini angels. Step six, listen for your angel's reply. Any sign that your angel is there will most likely be subtle. <laughs> it would be great. You're like, hey, get at say, me. And Dear <clears throat> Gabriel, hello, are you there? Yeah, dude. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> well, keep it down. My parents are going to find out. And that's how I got my guardian angel. Now on TGIF. <laughs> Do you have any more of those spicy corn triangles I like so much? <laughs> well, yeah, calm Gabriel, down. yeah, I have Doritos. Just please, you have to fucking keep it quiet. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do some skateboard tricks down the stairs. No, Gabriel. <laughs> no, Gabriel, please don't. Too late. Already grinding for cries. <laughs> <laughs> so You've seen a cry stare before, but never like this. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I prayed to be the coolest kid in school, and I couldn't have done it without you, Gabriel. Well, I'm glad. Now, I gotta go back to heaven. What? Oh, right. What? You're an angel. I'm, like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I've been here five years, Derek. Yeah. Gab Gabriel, sometimes I feel like you just come here for the spicy corn trick, chips, <laughs> and then to do a trick on my on my banister, and then you are gone without really giving any help to me or my softball team. And if you could stop flirting with my mom. I really so appreciate so it. Much. It's making my dad really wicked choice. uncomfortable. Because uh, like he's not going to say anything. You're an angel. And he's trying to be cool about it. But like, come on, man. Time is He doesn't kids. appreciate it. Yeah, it time is, is frowned on. Bud. Hey, thank you so much for listening to our podcast. We hope you like really liked it. And you're like, yeah. this is funny. No I notes. like it. No notes. Uh, good we, stuff. We want to tell you about some exciting stuff. Uh, we, okay. we recorded Till Death Do Us Blart. Uh, it, was, Ooh, it was a right. fun one. Um, and that comes out this week on Thanksgiving. Enjoy. Um, and also, Taz Utra Space starts next oh, week. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, that's a rip roaring adventure, I'll say. Yeah, it's run by Clint. It's the Marvel TTRPG. We got did you just call her Clint? Dad Clint? Dad Clint? Yes, I did. And we got special okay. guests Gabe Hicks and Kate yeah. Welch. It's an absolute joy. You're going to love it. Uh, merch. We got a Death Blart Tea by Cat Turvo. Uh, that's Turbo Turvo on Instagram. Death Bart poster by Simone Mariano. Smariano underscore art on Instagram. 10% of all merch proceeds this month go to the Fair Election Center, which uses litigation and advocacy to remove barriers to registration and voting, particularly those disenfranchising underrepresented and marginalized communities to improve election administration. Hey, also, oh, yeah. as long as we're talking about things that we have put up for sale, the uh, Steeplechase theme song is now up on uh, my Bandcamp page. Uh, and for the rest of the year, all sales of all the music from the Adventure Zone that is up on, on my uh, band camp uh, will be donated to the Palestinian Children's Fund, uh, and we are going to be matching that donation also. Amazing. Uh, so go grab, go grab those tunes and uh, support a obviously remarkable cause. Thank you to Montaigne for the use of our Thank theme song, you. My Life is Better with You, also. Um, uh, if you haven't already, uh, check out uh, the adventure dot quest. It's the RPG event that I'm putting on in May. Get all the details at the adventure dot quest. And now it's time for your cleansing sound bath. Okay. Oh. 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 
My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me kiss your dad square on the lips. Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.